Hello everyone! Sorry it's been a while, but with these energy prices I'm struggling to find times I can test, record and edit without it costing a fortune. Also, I've been waiting ages for all the comparison cards I want to use in a video I'm preparing on a Cairo 2 graphics card. One of the cards I've been waiting for arrived, but there's a problem. It has a low profile bracket, and mine is not a low profile machine. Here it is, an ATI Radeon 7500 with a whopping 32 megabytes of RAM. And here, as you can see, is the dinky, useless low profile bracket. What we need here is to replace it with this full profile blanking plate I had lying around. Let's get the small one off so we can measure up where all the holes need to go. Now, instead of taking measurements like I probably should have done, I'm kind of just going to bend this bit back on the short bracket so I can use it as a template on the normal sized one. Now I just need to stick them together so the template plan works as I'm just going to drill through the holes that are already there. I didn't really think this through, but I can't see why it wouldn't work. Now it's all taped up, we can go outside. Now to find the right size drill bits to use. This one is too small, but this one should be just right. I also want to drill through here in case I need to use this socket. And yes, I know this is a wood bit, but I doubt drilling through a small area of sheet metal will damage it. Let's get drilling. Now I need to pry them apart so I can carry on making holes. Now I have some pilot holes, I'm going to use some grinding bits to finish off. This is going to take a while. Okay, so it sort of fits. Ish. Okay, it's a bit crappy looking, as if someone without the right tools decided to do something silly in five minutes for a video, which I did. It doesn't look much better once it's been cleaned up, but I'm going for function over form here. It just needs to hold the card. It doesn't necessarily need to look pretty doing it. Now it's time to put it back on, and then we can see if it fits, which it should. Well, it certainly isn't factory standard, but it should do just fine. Now to pop it into my ridiculous motherboard to test the card. It's a bit snug, but it does the trick.
We have signal and all is well. Okay, well now I need to wait for some more posts to arrive and some more interesting videos should appear soon. See you in the next one.